Oh have ye not heard o the Fawz Sakeld oh have ye not heard o the keen lord scroop how they hate tine bald kinmon dwilly, on her I be to hang him up had willy had but twenty men, but twenty men as stout as be, Fawz Sakelda had never the kinmon tine y eight score in his company they band his legs beneath the steed, they tied his hands behind his back, they guarded him, five some on each side and they brought him o'er the Liddell rack they led him through the Liddell rack and also through the Carlisle sands, they brought him to Carlisle Castell to be at my lord Scroop's commands. My hands are tied, but my tongue is free, and we will dare this deed of vow or answer by the border law or answer to the bald Baclou. Now ha thy tongue, thou rank river there's never a Scot shall set ye free before ye cross my castle yet, I trow ye shall take farewell o me. Fear na ye that. My lord, quo willy by the faith o my body, lord Scroop, he said, I never yet lodged in a hostelry but I paid my lying before I gave. Now word is gained to the bald keeper, in Branksome Ha where that he lay, that lord Scroop has time the kinmon twilly, between the hours of night and day he has time the table why his hand, he gared the red wine spring on high, now Christ's curse on my head, he said, but avenged of lord Scroop I'll be. O oh, is my boss not a widow's kerch or my lance a wand of the willow tree or my arm a lady's lily hand, that an English lord should lightly me? And have they tine him, Kinmon Dwilly, against the truce of border tide, and forgotten that the bald Baclou is keeper here on the Scottish side? And have they ain't tine him, Kinmon Dwilly, without an either dread or fear, and forgotten that the bald Baclou can back a steed, or shake a spear? O oh, were there war between the lands? As well I wot that there is none, I would slight Carlisle Castell high, though it were builded of marble stone. I would set that Castell in a low, and sloken it with English blood, there's never man in Cumberland should kin where Carlisle Castell stood. But since nay wars between the lands, and there is peace, and peace should be, I'll neither harm English lad or lass, and yet the kin Montfried shall be. He has called him forty marchmen bald. I trow they were of his ain name, except Sir Gilbert Elliot, called the Laird of Stobbs, I mean the same. He has called him forty marchmen bald, were kinsmen to the bald Baclou, with spur on heel, and splint on spald, and gloves of green, and feathers blue. There were five and five before them a, uh, why hunting horns and bugles bright, and five and five came why Baclou, like warden's men, arrayed for fight and five and five, like a mason gang that carried the ladders lang and high, and five and five, like broken men, and so they reached the wood house lay. And as we crossed the baitable land, when to the English side we held, the first ho men that we met why, we sold it be but Fawz Sakelda. Where be ye gone, ye hunters keen? Quo Fawz Sakelda, come tell to me. We go to hunt an English stag, has trespassed on the Scots country. Where be ye gone, ye martial men? Quo Fawz Sakelda, come tell me true. We go to catch a rank driver, has broken faith why the bald Baclou. Where are ye gone, ye mason lads, why are your ladders a lang and high? We gang to harry a corby's nest, that one's not far fray Woodhouse Lee. Where be ye gone, ye broken men? Quo Fawz Sakelda, come tell to me. Now Dicky of Dry Hope led that band. And the never word o lear had he dug white dress pass ye on the English side, row footed outlaws, stand. Quo he, the near a word had Dicky to say, say he thrust the lance through his fa's body, then on we held for Carlisle tune, and at Stainy Shaw Bank the Eden we crossed, the water was great and meekle of spay, but the never horse nor man we lost, and when we reached the Stainy Shaw Bank, the wind was rising loud and high, and there the laird garred leave our steeds for fear that they should stamp and knee and when we left the stainy shaw bank, the wind began full loud to blaw, but twas wind and vate, and fire and sleet, when we came beneath the castellwa we crept on knees, and held our breath, till we placed the ladders against the wa, and say ready was Baclou himself to mount she first, before us oh he has tying the watchman by the throat, he flung him down upon the lead had there not been peace between our lands. Upon the other side thou hadst gade. Now sound out, trumpets. Quo Baclou, let's wake and Lord Scroop right merrily. Then loud the warden's trumpet blew, O oh, we dare meddle, why me? 
then speedily to work we gade, and raised the slogan on and up, and cut a hole through a sheet of lead, and so we went to the costel how they thought King James and a his men had won the house why bow and spear, it was but twenty Scots and ten that put a thousand in sick a steer, why coulters, and why four hammers, we gared the bars bang merrily, until we came to the inner prison, where Willie Oak and Monty did lie and when we came to the lower prison, where Willie Oak and Monty did lie, O oh sleep ye, wake ye, Kinmont Willie, upon the morn that thou's to die. O oh I sleep saft, and I wake aft, it's laying since sleeping was fleed frae me, gee my service back to my wife and bairns and the good a fellows that spear for me. Then Red Rowan has hente him up, the starkest man in TV at Dale abide, abide now, Red Rowan, till of my lord Scroop I take farewell. Farewell, farewell, my good ale ord Scroop, my good ale ord Scroop, farewell. He cried, I'll pay you for my lodging mail, when first we meet on the border side. Then shoulder high, with shout and cry, we bore him down the ladder lang, at every stride Red Rowan made, I wot the Kinmont's arms played clang. O oh, mony a time, quoke in Montwilly. I have ridden horse baith wild and wood, but a rougher beast than Red Rowan, I ween my legs have near bestrode. And mony a time, quoke in Montwilly, I've pricked a horse out our the furs, but since the day I backed a steedy never wore sick cumbrous spurs. We scarce had won the stainy shaw bank, when a the Carlisle bells were rung, and a thousand men, in horse and foot, Cam why the keen lord scroop along Biclu has turned to Eden water, even where it flowed fray bank to brim, and he has plunged in via his band, and safely swam them through the stream he turned him on the other side, and at lord scroop his glove flung he if ye like na my visit in merry England, in fair Scotland come visit me. All sore astonished stood lord scroop, he stood as still as rock of stain, he scarcely dared to true his eyes. When through the water they had gained. He is either himself a devil fray hell, or else his mother a witch mound be, I wadna have ridden that wan water for a the goad in christened I, 